Good morning. I am Devotama Sen of Class 10D from KV Hebal. Today I will be top, talking for the topic Physical Fitness is Better than Mental Fitness. As Swami Vivekananda once said, What we want is muscles of iron and nerves of steel. We have wept long enough, no more weeping, but stand on your feet and be men. It is man making theories that we want. It is man making education all round that we want. He says so to explain the importance of physical fitness. He says that this is the basis on which mental fitness is to be established. Without a strong body, it is not possible to develop an active mind. How is it that physical fitness is better than mental fitness? Let's consider only mental fitness. We reap the benefits of having positivity and having a stress free life. But on the part of physical fitness, we not only get to be stronger and fitter, but also get mental stability. Hence, physical fitness provides us with a healthy body and an healthy mind. Healthy people from not only have stable moods from having balanced hormones, but also look better. They have a positive outlook on life, a greater propensity for fighting diseases, and bounce back up from setbacks. Now, what is the link between exercises and reducing of stress, depression and anxiety and increase of happiness and confidence? Most of us know that exercise increases endorphins, but few of us know that it increases many more brain chemicals like dopamine, adrenaline and endocannabinoid. These chemicals are associated with feeling happy, feeling confident, feeling capable and having the feeling of anxiety reduced and also we don't feel much of physical pain. Exercise also helps people with depression, which experts say could be due to the nerve increase in the brain. That happens when you exercise. Here, the myokins play a huge role. It changes the brain and restructures it to make it more resilient to stress and helps people recover from depression and anxiety disorders faster. Now what kind of exercises are best to gain happiness or benefit in, uh, in mental health? While all physical activities is beneficial, aerobic activities like swimming, brisk walking, running or biking seem to be best for our brain. A recent study done by the Harvard T. H. Chan School of Public Health found that running for 15 minutes or walking for an hour can reduce depression by 26%. What are the other reasons to exercise? It sharpens our memory and thinking. The same endorphin that makes us feel better also helps us concentrate and make us more related to things which are, or tasks that are at hand. It higher self-esteem. The activities which we do and are required prolonged attention and investment of mind, soul and our body. When it becomes a habit, it also fosters a sense of self-worth and makes us feel strong and powerful. It also improves sleep. Short outbursts of exercise in the afternoon or in the morning can help regulate our sleep patterns. It also provides us with more energy. Increasing, heart, increasing our heart rate several times a week will give us more motivation to do more in a single day. It also helps us have strong resilience. When we face mental or emotional challenges in life, exercise can help you build resilience and cope with this in a healthier way. You don't have to spend hours together in a gym or forcing yourself into long and monotonous exercises that you don't want to do. You can choose any activity, anything that you like, which would make you feel interested and that you know that you can do it every day. So here I conclude that physical fitness indeed has so many benefits we don't know about. So let's explore them together and be fitter and happier. Thank you.